It's November 11, 2020. I'm Todd Dunn and today I am aboard my 1936 powerboat Tortuga to continue my deck repair. I finished cutting out all the bad wood yesterday and I uh, scarfed in a new end for a deck beam and uh, today I have installed a little uh, Alaskan yellow cedar top to a little exterior bulkhead and I'm ready to start putting the overhead planking back on so I thought I'd show you that. I've already got uh, three pieces of wood cut and uh, I'll do the install right now. Okay, I've got the wood here. This is the first piece that's going to go in. It'll fit in right here. So I've just got to drill it for the screws and then screw it down. And this is kind of an awkward place to work. It's actually easier to do this from over here off the edge of the boat. Now this wood is pre-painted on the bottom so that uh, I don't have to go in and repaint the overhead. I'll just get that lined up like this. more screws. Two down, and the third one to go.
do this one. Tap the other end in a little. And do the last screw here. Okay, now that I've got these three in, I have one more piece of the overhead to go. But I can't put it in today because back here I had a little gap that I filled with thickened epoxy that uh, I, is not cured. And it's also a little proud of the height it needs to be at. So I'm going to let that cure out till tomorrow. And at that point, I'll come and I'll use my oscillating saw to cut this off flush. and. Then we'll put the last overhead plank in, and uh, we will no longer have a hole in the cabin top. And I've got the wood here, so it's uh, no big deal. Just have to cut the piece to length and put it in. I will have to do a little trimming here. These pieces are just slightly too long, so I just have to trim them back with the oscillating saw and maybe sand them a little to get them flush. Once I get that last, that fourth piece in, I will cut a little strip and put it here on top of the hull planking to bring it up to the same level and install that. And then I will cut a piece of marine plywood and fill this gap to bring it up to the appropriate level. And I have half inch marine plywood which will be just exactly right then I can fiberglass over the top of it. Before I fiberglass, I will, of course, grind a bevel around the edge of the old fiberglass so that my fiberglass can overlap and I won't have any problems with the joint cracking. So tomorrow, I expect to get the last piece of overhead in and I expect to get the plywood on. And the plywood is going to be epoxy to this material so that water cannot wick between the plywood and the wood that makes up the overhead. Okay, that wraps up what we're doing today. As I said, I have to wait till tomorrow to put this last piece on here because I got to trim this after the epoxy kicks. And uh, so, took a fair amount of prep to get to this point, but closing the hole up. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And click that notification bell so you'll get a notification of when my next exciting video is posted. Thanks again for watching.